This edition of the week that was starts with Lauren Tritton's first winning drive back since giving birth to a son Levi over a month ago. It didn't take the pocket rocket long to bounce back in the winner's circle and that feat was achieved with Luke by Knight at Penrith last Thursday. Luke by Knight in front, Old Studley Road second, then Barra Charlotte, Luke by Knight in front and Lauren Tritton. Welcome back to the winner's circle, Lauren. First winner since having a baby and Luke by Knight wins. Bathurst trainers invaded Young's meeting last Friday and New South Wales leading trainer Steve Turnbull trained two winners including Zara's Choice which won a heat of the Menangle Country Series. And who stole my pigeon is three wide and coming into it. Miss Official on the inside. There's a great finish coming up. Zara's Choice in front and clear. She's a length clear. Zara's Choice. Great run for the Miners. Second placing is going to be very, very close. It was Turnbull's daughter Amanda who trained the other Menangle Country Series heat winner at Young on Friday night and that was Dream to Share. Our Novak between them and right off the track is Alabama Tyson into the straight 150 from home and Dream to Share the favourite he's still sitting back on it boldly and he'll score by that a length great battle for the minor placings close second would be badge of gamers inside. West Australian driver Michael Ferguson who is calling Sydney home for the time being drove his first winner for the season at Newcastle last Saturday night. That was courtesy of the Leon Jerd trained Springfield Spirit was Saint Stormy and they dropped the rest off but it's Springfield Spirit who raced up on the outside of Three Penny Opera to put pay to it and it kicked for home the favourite. Springfield Spirit charging in and Springfield Spirit will win it over. Bright and sunny up on the outside. Trainer driver Ricky Alchin also had a night to remember at Newcastle last Saturday, training and driving a treble. As you can see here, Chic Boutique sealed the hat trick for the well-known educator. Up on the outside was Chic Boutique and Majestic American is sprinting powerfully right down the outside. At the 50 here, Chic Boutique, Majestic American out wide. Chic Boutique, Majestic American, Chic Boutique just over Majestic American. Driver Amanda Turnbull kicked off the new season just as she finished the last and that was winning. The Bathurst Reigns woman drove a treble at Tabcourt Park Menangle on Saturday night, including this win with Miss Vera Mack. Sally Fletcher trying to run on out deeper, then come collect. Miss Vera Mack in front at the 200. Miss Riviera Bell sticks on. Sally Fletcher out wider, and then followed come collect. And my lucky Bell, Miss Vera Mack in front 100 to go. Miss Riviera Bell tries hard, but Miss Vera Mack, she's doing enough. Miss Vera Mack wins. Wins at three quarters, Miss Riviera Bell and Sally Fletcher third. Also at Menangle last Saturday, there looks to be a new star on the scene following this performance of Galactic Star in the Group 3 feature on the night. Then followed behind those smoky quartz, Aztec Bromac trying to get out. Double event, Shadow Rain out wider. Galactic Star in front, 150 left to run. He found a kick, he leads by two to Mac Beauty, he tries hard, then Shadow Rain out wider, but class Mac Market down with a capital C, Galactic Star, he's just too good for them, he burnt them into the ground. At Dubbo last Sunday, Carlu 303 kicked off this season the right way when taking out a race named in honour of his stablemate Carlu De Major. Smack dab, Shannon giving plenty. Out wide now, coming into it, is on the outside, Umbro Giants, and then Carlu 303 getting clear, but smack dab, Shannon in front. Carlu 303 storms home. Carlu 303 over the top beat, smack dab, Shannon. And on a similar note, driver Matt Rue won a race named in his honour at Dubbo last Sunday, thanks to this smart performance by a Trilight Brigade, a Canola Cup hopeful. And then came out a crossguard, the widest of all, and dropping off in the centre is better under fire. Trilight Brigade in front, coming out of his line with Lexi. Big Bill's coming along the inside, but Trilight Brigade, untouched to the line. It gets home to defeat I'm with Lexi. Take a look at this performance by the trotter Toff Monarch at Menangle on Tuesday afternoon. What you don't see is that he overcame a 50 metre handicap to win this race. There's no trumps, no glory, but it galloped and uh, had to take evasive action there to get out of the way of uh, Tough Monarch. They tell me the leader. It's giving back as a sight, trying hard Unico Pegasus. Seven secrets with nowhere to go. All Royal Gallas hitting the line okay, but it's still they tell me the leader. Down the outside, Tough Monarch and all Royal Gallas starting to close, particularly Tough Monarch. From 50 metres, Tough Monarch loomed up, hit the lead and Tough Monarch went home to beat, they tell me. After receiving the news that he'll be representing New South Wales in two upcoming driving championships, Chris Geary landed a double at Menangle on Tuesday afternoon, including this win with Valoroso Hanover, which rated a career best 153.5. 
It's Manaway the leader. Valoroso Hanover's looming large on the outside to join. And then came Cracker Star, Raymar, Big Bang Penny as Valoroso Hanover hits the lead. And Valoroso Hanover goes for home. In second spot, Cracker Star, Big Bang Penny, no Apache, me, Valleymore boy, but Valoroso Hanover's in front. And Valoroso Hanover wins it. Nearly a dead eight, second and third. No Apache, me, and Big Bang Penny. And that was another edition of the week that was. Thanks for watching.